I'm on Saddle Peak in the Bridger Range and last night and yesterday we had moderate to strong wind that drifted any snow that it could into some fresh slabs. Um, there's a little bit thicker soft slabs on the surface that we're seeing crack today. And then we had a stability test break and propagate underneath a harder slab that's about six inches deep and it broke on a layer of sugary facets. We assume the avalanche that was triggered four or five days ago just around the corner on the face of Saddle Peak broke on that layer. And the fact that these are weak sugary facets means that we're still worried about triggering those slabs possibly for a few more days. So these wind loaded slopes are our main concern right now where we could trigger soft fresh slabs or hard slabs. So watch out for wind loaded slopes. We are still finding weak snow lower in the snowpack, but we haven't had a ton of loading to stress that weak layer lately. So right now we're not worried about really big avalanches breaking on it, but we are keeping it in mind for when we hopefully get more snow in the future.